Hi everyone, I'm Ricky from Tech Talk and today we're going through the full review of the Philips USB docking LCD monitor. Massive thank you to Philips for sending this out to me to review and test with my media and my video editing production throughout the Christmas period and it's been a real enjoyment. So the model number for this monitor is 241B7QUPEB. It's from their B line and the link for this monitor will be in the description so you can go to Philips webpage and check it out for yourself. But I want to give you my opinion and also some key facts about this monitor before you go and purchase. So it's a 20 24 inch monitor but the actual proper diagonal measurement is 23.8 inches and 60.5 centimeters and that's diagonally across the display so it's a full hd resolution which is 1920 by 1080p which offers a 16.9 aspect ratio and 93 pixels per inch density so response time for this is five milliseconds and that's always gray to gray it has a contrast ratio of 1000 to 1 and a smart contrast ratio of 20 million to 1 and the color quantity on here is 16.7 million colors. So this monitor is very special as it connects through a USB connection. Also, you do have a VGA connection to your notebook, PC, Mac, or whatever device you are using. And this offers a great versatility to this monitor. So coming around to the back of our monitor here, I just wanna show you how you release your catch as well. So there's a catch under here. If you just press the button in, you can then bring off your mount here and underneath there there is a vest mount it's ever so easy to click the pins in as i showed in the unboxing video but this way we get a better look as well at our port underneath so under here at the far left we have our power connection and a dedicated on off switch we have our vga connection an ethernet connection a microphone and a headphone jack then you have your connecting usb cable there that will connect into your MacBook, PC, notebook, laptop of your choice. And then you can see that we have three USB 3 ports there, which are backwards compatible as I discussed. Connect your multimedia devices or any other third party USB connections. Again, you have your cable management system through the back here. And this is also where your monitor rises. And also you do have these clips here for cable management too. As it's powered through that USB, it then powers a USB 3 or backwards compatible USB 2 docking system at the back. And offers you a range of ports to connect either an ethernet cable as it has built-in internet connection your mic your headset and then also a range of usb3 ports that you can connect third party connections to like your keyboard your mouse your hard drive a microphone for instance this can really add to your home space so say you took your notebook to work come home and then connect with one cable to this monitor having a great display a larger display than what you have on your notebook and then a range of connections to all different devices that just work when you plug in, which I think is absolutely fantastic. I've plugged in all sorts and everything has worked that I have tested. So like I discussed, it has an advanced USB 3 or USB 2 backward plug and play capability, which makes it nice and easy just for you to connect in your devices. This monitor has an IPS LCD display, which means that you have advanced technology that offers a wide angle viewing of 178 degrees. And that means it's really versatile that you can look at multiple different angles. It has the ability to pivot in a 90 degree angle mode and unlike standard panels an IPS display gives you the remarkable crisp images with vivid colors making it ideal not only for photos or film and web browsing but also the professional applications that demand color accuracy and constant brightness at all times. So as you can see around the monitor here we have three very narrow bezels and very smooth bezels as well, making it ideal to stack these monitors next to each other, maybe one on top. The new Philips display features an ultra narrow orders which allow for minimal distraction and maximum viewing size, which I agree here, it's very nice to do. You do have a feature on here called Smart Image Presets, which offer you the ability to change your settings just by flicking through. And as you can see, when I'm doing this, the Smart Image is an exclusive leading edge Philips tech technology that analyzes the content displayed on your screen and optimizes your display performance. This user-friendly interface allows you to select various modes like office, photo, movie, game, economy to fit the application in use. Based on the selection, Smart Image dynamically optimizes the contrast, colors, saturations, sharpness of images and videos for the ultimate display preference or performance. And the one other one that I want to talk about is the low blue light mode, which 
offers you the ability to use your monitor maybe late at night and it doesn't affect your eyes like we see on our smartphones. That's really nice to have on this monitor. It will also offer you flicker free technology. The economy mode option offers you a major power savings all in real time in one touch of a single button. The smart ergo base that Philips use for their monitor is absolutely stunning. I'm so pleased with this. So you have the ability to tilt the display either minus five or to plus 30 and let me show you that now. So the best way to show you this is show the ability to actually swivel the display and you can swivel this all the way around to 175 degrees. So it could go all the way around. So as you can see, I've got some cables running behind here, which is actually going to stop it going from all the way. And you can choose then to change your cables and manage them correctly. All thanks to a cable management system down here at the bottom. So you also have the ability to tilt your monitor as I discussed. So you can go to minus five. So that is minus five or to plus 30. And that's plus 30. When pulled down, that is really great for checking out my latest content and seeing how well my videos are doing on YouTube. So if I come all the way up, you then have the ability to rotate this monitor in a 90 degree pivot. And let's swing this back round. So if I swing this back round here, and then bring down, you can see how versatile for people that are doing photographic editing, which is really nice, or for a professional application use. Again, very easy to move, very easy, but feels very sturdy at the same time. So only pivot in one way, so please note that. You do have two built-in stereo speakers, which run along the bottom here, and I can show you them in the photos, as well as all the different photos that are going along, showing you all different sides of this monitor. And that's for multimedia use. If you want to, you could then plug in separate USB powered or USB connection speakers as well to get a more professional sound as these are only just built in speakers but are also nice to have. So taking a closer look at the bottom bezel of our monitor here and the menu system. So along the bottom here you've got Brilliance and then 241B. So you have Philips in the middle here. Also you have a sensor in the middle here when turned on in the menu system will actually wake up your display. I actually turned this off as I kept waking it up. You can turn it back on quite easily in the menu. You have the seven star energy rating system there. And then also you have along the bottom here, your menu options and other buttons on the monitor. So there are buttons just underneath the bottom bezel here. So first of all, we have smart image. And as I discussed going through smart images, this presets and changes your monitor for you straight away without you actually going in through the settings. Next to that, you have your input button. So either USB or VGA. Then you have your volume up or, or your volume down. Then you also have your menu here. So in menu, it has then the power sensor that you can turn on and off and you can cycle through the menu system here, calibrating the monitor. There's loads of different settings in here. I've kept it all very basic, how it's come out of the box, and then just use the preset smart image selection, which I think is your better option. But the menu system is there. It's nice and easy to navigate, but I do believe this is the best option. Choosing this one that's best for you in the smart image selection. And you can see it just changes and adjusts my monitor for me so easily and I don't have to worry about going through the menu system there. So my personal thoughts for this monitor, it's nice, it's small, it's compact. It's great that you have the ability to sit next to each other, build your display rig up if you want to. Do like the smart image selection as it does protect my eyes late at night. I change into different modes as well. I get great different features from the monitor. This monitor really shows off great colors as well and great color representation through my photographs when I'm checking out my photographs I've taken of other products. And then also when it comes to video editing, just sits there and makes it a lot larger display compared to my 13 inch MacBook Pro. So I was very pleased to review this monitor and I've had it for a good while now. One thing I do want to say is when you first connect this up to a MacBook that you will need to use the Display Link software that is provided on this CD but most Macs don't come with CD drives anymore but it's easily downloadable. The link will be in the description and also I'll put a link up to this monitor where you can buy it here in the UK and US and I really do like the feel of the monitor as well. It's quite a professional made monitor. I would say this is more for a professional use as well, more an office type use than a heavy multimedia use. 
as um, the USB is not HDCP protection, you can't use Netflix for instance. It will detect that it's not over a protected cable so but this could be changed with the VGA so if you do have any questions or queries about this monitor before you maybe go and purchase please leave a comment down below and I'd be more than happy to help so massive thank you to Philips for supplying this monitor to me over the Christmas period and into the new year and I'm excited to work in partnership through 2018 to see which other monitors are coming to market so this was my final review on the Philips 241 B7 QUPEB monitor the link will be in the description. Thanks always for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.